Hey, it's Jerry and I'm with Francis and Billy of the Fuji guys and we're out camping and we're going to put the XA3 through some of its paces today. Yeah, we basically want to show you that you can do more than basic point and shoot with your camera. Uh, so we're going to try to do some time lapse, some light painting, however that turns out, but it's going to be fun. So, you know, keep on watching. While we're here, uh, we'll try to do a couple time lapse, a few different settings. Uh, right now it's pretty sunny, so we'll try to do some with the, the clouds. We also did, uh, everyone did, uh, Jerry came from Toronto, Billy from Ottawa, me from Montreal, so we all attached a camera to our cars and did a time lapse, which you can see now. Uh, but we'll try to do clouds again, try to do stars. Uh, one thing you need to know actually is when you, you want to do something that's moving really fast, you want to photo every, I would say, every second or two. Uh, but when you're shooting clouds, for example, it moves slower. So you might want to go like one every 15 seconds um, for your time lapse. So it really depends on what you're shooting. So something going fast, like people setting up the camper, you want to go one second or two or five, but it will be jumpy. And if you shoot clouds or stars, I would go for about 30 seconds to a minute. Hard. But you know, it's really easy to take long exposures with the XA3. It's got bulb and timed exposure, so you can kind of set what you need. Uh, whether you're looking at, you know, star trails or anything like that, just make sure you have a tripod though, because you want to really want to make sure that the uh, camera doesn't move at all. You know, camping is about food, but you know I like to bring my my camera with me. And you know, some of the fun things uh, at camping is you know doing some non-typical shots uh, when it gets dark, maybe later on. Uh, some light painting, that's one of the cool things that you can do with any cameras. And uh, with the XA3, I think, you know, it works well. We do some long exposures. It allows us to kind of create cool effects, uh, you know, with light. If you just use a, a standard flashlight. So we'll do some of that uh, when it gets a little darker. Before then, though, we're going to put some grub in our bellies.
A, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had some fun with the XA3 today. Uh, there were some cool things we did, like light painting, long exposure, as well as, uh, of course, time-lapse photography. These are a few of the many things the XA3 is capable of. Next time you take this out, maybe beyond the simple snap, you want to just try some of these uh, cool things. Until then, I'm Billy, I got uh, Francis and Jerry, and we're the Fuji guys. <laughs>